In this video, I'm going to look at how to create shortcuts to local or network programs, files, folders, and a few other things. Uh, let's suppose that I wanted to access System Restore. Now, a few ways I could do it. I could right click on the win Windows logo here and go to System. And then on the right, I can click on System Protection. And here it is. System Restore. You can, you can delete some points to uh, open up some more uh, space on your uh, hard drive. More than that a little bit later on. But, uh, there it is. Now suppose I wanted to create a shortcut to that so I could quickly access it whenever I wanted to. Or maybe some other uh, program or Windows item. So I would right click on the desktop here and then go to new. I wanted a folder, I would click on folder, but I want a shortcut. I would click on shortcut. Now we have what item would you like to create a shortcut for? This wizard helps you to create shortcuts to local and uh, network programs, files, folders, computers, or internet addresses. So you can even put a link there to, to uh, some website or whatever you want. Now if you know the pathway to this uh, item you want to create the shortcut for, you can just paste it in or type it in. So there it is. System32, System Properties, Protection, dot execute, and then I click Next. And it gives it a name. You could give it your own name if you want. And click on Finish. And there it is. Now I can leave it there. Or I could pin it to the uh, Start. Or I could pin it to the Taskbar. Okay, so I'll delete it from here. And then I have it over here in my Taskbar here at the bottom. So if I click on it. Click Yes here. Now since I'm uh, here accessing this uh, System Restore, what I want to do here, and this is something you can do to uh, open up some more space on your hard drive if you have a small one. I really don't need the space. and I've done, I've done some videos where uh, I showed how to uh, clear or delete files, temp files, what have you, junk mail, or junk files I should say, that are cluttering your computer. I click on uh, configure here. Notice here I have from time to time the, comp the computer uh, Windows uh, system will create these restore points. In case you're having issues you maybe loaded a certain program and some of the settings changed and you didn't like that program. You deleted the program or in uninstalled the program but some of the settings were messed up. You could take your computer back to a certain point where it was doing okay with one of these restore points. But here I have too many uh, gigabytes, 16 gigabytes. So I'm going to delete these. Just too many. And I'm close it here. So nothing there now. And then apply here. So there's no more restore points. Now every time I do this kind of thing, I go ahead and do a cleanup on, the, on my computer. I will go ahead and get rid of all temp files and just files that uh, it, the system doesn't need. But I do want to have at least one restore point at the start, then the computer will, or Windows will go ahead and create some off and on. So this one I'm just going to label this one TL and click on create. Okay, the restore point was created successfully. I close this and then I go back to configure here. And 
space seven percent is too much there so i'm going to lower this down a little bit uh yeah to about four four percent then apply and there you have it so then again i, I get to access this uh system restore like i said several ways now i just have it right there whenever i want to access it click on it i've got it now that's easy to do if you know the uh, pathway but let's suppose you didn't know that so let me go ahead and delete this or unpin it and do this again now so go to new and then shortcut and here again you want to access local or network programs files folders computers or internet addresses now suppose i didn't know the address to that uh, program that i accessed come over here and browse it of course you have to know kind of where to find it so go to this pc right here and then go to the hard drive and i want to go to the windows folder And it should be under uh, System 32. I click on that. So here it is. System properties protection we'll click on that and then click OK and there's the same thing that I pasted Windows system 32 system properties protection dot execute exe hit next and it gives it the name system properties protection finish and there's the uh, icon again there so I can open it up if I want to and do whatever I want with the uh, restore points, create one or delete some and so on. Now, suppose there's a folder that you use a lot and you want to access that quickly. Do the same sort of thing here. Go to new shortcut. And browse. So I'm looking for a folder, so I'm going to go to my computer here in the C drive. And then I say I select the car maintenance, so I click on that. And then click OK. Car maintenance gives you the path to it. Click Next. So it names it car maintenance. You can name it whatever you want there. I'll leave it the way it is. Click on finish here. And there you have it. I could go ahead and pin it to the test bar or just leave it on the uh, desktop here. Uh, click on it here. And there it is, car maintenance. It's just the history of the maintenance on my car is all it is, not important, but anyway. You can do it with other files. Like I said, if you don't know the path to that particular folder, item, or program, whatever it is, you can uh, just go through the uh, hard drive and find it and do it just like I did here. I'm not going to need this here, so I'll go ahead and delete it now. Now, you can also do this with, uh, with links. Let's suppose I had a link that I wanted to access easily here. I could go to New, Shortcut, and then 
go to that website, whatever it was, copy the link, and then paste it here. And go to next. Finish. And let's see what link it was here. Amazon link. Okay, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.